How's it going, YouTube? So, back at it. Finally, after the past couple of days, I have been ill. Uh, my diets have consisted of NyQuil, orange juice, and chicken noodle soup. So, here I am, alive and well. I haven't died, at least that I'm aware of. But, um, on another note, uh, my video that was supposed to be done on Tuesday, which would have been um, philosophy and politics, is now pushed till Saturday. I will have two videos coming up Saturday then, just so you know. Um, anyway, moving on. My uh, video today is going to be on something that hasn't gotten a lot of coverage, I feel. Ex I mean, aside from, I know full of the Young Turks and uh, Sarkin of Akkad have covered it, actually. As a matter of fact, I found it through the Young Turks, and I realized Sarkin of Akkad covered it. And I was like, oh, well, interesting. So, um, it's called, this movement is called Redneck Revolt, which in itself is funny. I'll explain that later. But these people claim to have libertarians and Republicans as well as anarchists. I'm assuming when they say anarchists, they also mean anarcho-capitalists as well as anarcho-communists, but it's never stated, and that's just me simply assuming. So don't take that as, you know, at face value. But these people claim to be in our militia, and they claim that they're revolting, and what they seem to be revolting against is um, just capitalism and liberal democracy of the western and western culture in general it seems albeit their name being ironic because rednecks were kind of developed inside of western culture namely america as far as i know but anyway moving on and also on top of their name the red the redneck revolt in that being redneck the funny thing was is that redneck is a term that's Loose, loosely used in a lot of circumstances. However, originally it came around, I do believe, usually by elitists to look down their noses at people that were not necessarily as well educated or as or made as much or as upper class as they were. So they, they took that name and are basically like, all right, this is a bunch of lower classmen revolting. Essentially is what it means. Well, the fact that most of them are white, irrelevant, but... Um, now, they have a definition of white supremacy on their webpage, but like I said, they seem to paint liberal democracies and Western culture and capitalism with the same brush of white supremacy using the logic that, you know, our worlds were built upon white supremacy and slavery and, you know, any of the other number of buzzwords and other arguments that you've already heard, and I don't feel like going over all, nor do I have the time to go over all of it, but... Now... In one of their um, videos, I saw them chanting, this is a fucking class war, which I think is funny, because class war is something that's been brought forward by a number of people, Michael Moore being one of them, and a number of other liberals. Now, we all know of full walls, at least as far as I know in my circle, that Michael Moore is a fucking money-hungry idiot, but aside from that, these people want a class war. Now... The other part of this is them taking the most. This seems to be happening in Middle America now. Middle America, if you weren't aware of how the election went, was extremely red. Like it was extremely Republican. So they claim to be anti-white supremacist and a reaction, a reactionary violent, a reaction to the violence of white supremacy. So what? violence of white supremacy. The only violence I see happening inside of the borders of the United States outside of, you know, person-to-person -person crime or gang violence is Antifa and people beating up Trump supporters. So what violence are you revolting against? I mean, there has to be something there unless, you know, you just are revolting for the sake of the fact that you want a revolution. You never know. That might actually be the reason. You don't know what's going on in these people's heads. But the... The, um, the, the thing that is funny is also, aside from that, is they claim to be a reaction to violence, but they also carry fa firearms during a lot, during, um, their protests, which I have no problem with protesting. You can protest all you want within the borders of the United States. It's protected under law. But the thing about carrying a firearm into a protest is, I'm not saying that it's, it's inciting violence. I'm just going to say that it's making it very, very easy for something to happen and people to get hurt, which... And a protest shouldn't happen. A protest should be about you wanting to express your ideals and your grievances with either the public, the local government, or the state government or the federal government. Regardless, you shouldn't be resorting to violence whether or not you be invoked or not. And one of the easiest ways is to, you know, not bring firearms, especially to a protest. I say don't bring any weapons at all, but we know full well that 
a lot of people can't resist the urge. So, uh, in closing, after I got through all of my points, um, these kinds of things are basically Marxist in, in form and in, in action. And taking, it seems like they have studied a lot of pre-USSR Russia with ignoring a lot of the, you know, bad parts like political enemies and whatnot being tortured, murdered, executed, imprisoned, you name it, it happened to them, extradited as well. But the thing, the thing that really kind of tickled my funny bone about the whole thing was they claim to have Republicans and Libertarians, especially in my opinion, on their side. Now, as far as Republicans and Libertarians, in a broad sense, they, they tend to have a lot of similar views. I mean, not everything. They, they don't agree on everything, but a lot of things kind of, there, there's a, a crossover there. And gun rights being one of them. And I'm personally, I personally believe in gun rights to, you know, a lot in a lot of circumstances, I do believe in gun rights. I could get into that. I'm going to get into that in another video. It's a very long, drawn-out conversation. But in this circumstance, the reason why... I feel like it's so funny is because they are against so many things that libertarians and republicans hold so dear like liberal democracies and capitalism capitalism especially in of itself because capitalism isn't a isn't a human ideal it's a market system and a market system in a bare bones is perfect as perfect as a, a market system could possibly be but you know so use the quotations there's a reason for that but i feel like uh that a lot of this, uh, both of these groups, Antifa and Redneck Revolt, are obsessed with Marxist rhetoric and calling it with a lot more guile than Antifa, calling for, and albeit with a lot more guile than Antifa, for a revolution, uh, a Marxist revolution at that, within the United States, without, without probably realizing the for, full ramifications of what would happen if a Marxist revolution were to happen within the borders of the United States. Namely, a lot of the freedoms that all of us enjoy so much on a day-to-day -day basis would be taken away, such as freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and freedom from religion, freedom of protest, freedom of expression, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and quite frankly, the Second Amendment would probably be abolished as soon as possible because quite frankly, a Marxist government, whether it be socialist, communist, or fascist, and yes, fascism and Marxism do share a lot of things in common, but... At the bare bones, one of the first things that they're going to do is take the firearms and means of defense away from the proletariat, as it was, so that when things do turn south, because eventually it will happen, it's been known to happen, proven throughout history, that there will be no way for the proletariat, as it were, to revolt. Now, in that regard, I feel like I've expressed my opinions full well on this situation, and I invite you to go look at Redneck Revolt and form your own opinions. However, I feel like I expressed most of the people that follow me, I feel like I express their opinions very well and relatively accurately. Now, my, um, like I said, my original video for Tuesday was supposed to be philosophy and politics. That's pushed to Saturday. And from now on, my schedule will be, except that will be commencing as usual, provided I don't catch a fucking cold again. So anyway, barring mother nature, I will see you guys on Saturday. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and or night, and I will see you later.